Good morning, YouTube. I know I've been recording a lot of my food lately, but I figured it's helpful to some people because I do eat different stuff every day. So let me just go ahead and show you what I'm eating for breakfast this morning. I was gonna record yesterday because I had something different, but so today I had, I already ate about half of it. One half cup of hash browns, the Simply Potatoes. It's only 70 calories and some reduced sugar ketchup on top and salt and pepper. And the ketchup has zero calories. And then I have two pieces of Sara Lee bread, almond butter from Whole Foods, one half of a banana. And usually I'd put a whole banana, but since a whole banana is 100 calories, this is 70, I really wanted these, so this I just shaved off about 50 calories by only using half a banana. And then I have cinnamon and honey on top. And for lunch, I'm gonna have my typical protein chips. They're 90 calories and you get a whole bunch of them. They're really good from Kroger. I'm gonna have a protein shake. So there's some almond milk and my proteins in here. I use the Orgain. This is the chocolate fudge chocolate creamy fudge. Here's a half of an avocado, a little bit more than half for my delicious rice, black bean, cheese, Cholula mixture. And then I'm also going to have a Lara bar. These literally taste like lemon bars and if you like those, you need to try this. And so I'm gonna, the order will be the rice and beans and the protein chips because I found that that keeps me pretty full and then the avocado on top and then I'm gonna have the protein shake with the Lara bar. That's it for now. I will show you guys what I eat when I get home because um, I'm gonna go to work again and then I'm gonna have a client again <laughs> work out and then come home and eat dinner. My cut's going pretty well. Um, I'll show you actually the macros for what I'm eating today. To say, I meant to say calories, but here it is for today. I just kind of abbreviated um, my breakfast, 450 calories, lunch, 590, snack, 390, and then I'll be at about 1,500 calories, so I'll still have some left for dinner. I'm trying to stay around 2,100 calories because I was doing 2,300, but I was eating way under that, obviously, like 18, 18, 2,000, but then yesterday I had 2,100 and I thought I would be okay, but then, so I was 170.4 yesterday, but this morning I was 170.6 and that's the same as two days ago. So who knows what that could be attributed to. Um, your weight can fluctuate for a lot of different reasons, but I have a feeling that it's because I may have over ate a little bit yesterday. So I'm gonna try to stick to 2,100 calories and may even go to 2,000. You just kinda have to listen to your body, see what works, experiment, um, all that. I am also on my period, so that can, attribute as well, not drinking enough water, not getting enough sleep, um, eating too much of one macronutrient, kind of like a lot of fat could blow you up or a lot of carbs could blow you up. Um, you just kind of have to learn what works best for your body. So when I get home, I'll show you guys what I eat for dinner. And until then, I will see you in probably again about 10 hours. Bye. Hello, I'm finally home from my long day. Um, I had work and then I had a client I came home and napped a little bit between work and my client because I am dead. If you can see it, my soul, I'm dying. Um, I'm having TMI bait possibly, but I'm having really bad cramps and I feel like really crappy and I almost never feel like this, so who knows? But I figured I would show you guys what I'm eating for dinner and what I ended up eating in place of something else and how I kind of worked with that. So instead of eating the protein shake, when I was home, I thought, since I'm home, let me just have a yogurt because it's still 12 grams of protein. So I had one of these yogurts, put a little bit of the granola in there, the 10 grams of protein, oats and dark chocolate, and then a few little bites of this mixed berry. And so it ended up, I just fixed the calories there, really easy fix. You don't have to worry if you've already written something down. And then for dinner, you can see my total calories there's only 330 calories, but I have all of this. So I have a medium sweet potato, a veggie burger, um, the Morning Star brand, a, a slice of Sargento cheese, some sauteed spinach, which is really easy on the pan. Um, just saute up with a little salt, pepper, um, olive oil spray, zero calories. And then um, it cooks in like two minutes. And obviously I said this in my last little video, but like a huge clump becomes like this small. And then I have a t tomato slices. I don't really want them on the burger right now. So I just have them here with a little bit of this, everything but the bagel seasoning. 
at Trader Joe's. You've probably seen this already on YouTube, but it's amazing and it pretty much tastes like an everything bagel without the bagel, as you would imagine. Yes, I may have some calories left over, so I'll let you guys know if I eat anything else. But, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content and wanna see more of it. I promise I'll try to look a little bit more presentable, um, but just being real and natural with you all, so thanks for watching.